And the, the best research on this uh, <coughs> has been done by uh, Colonel Dwight Sullivan. Optimized, a fancy way of saying that a file has been drastically reduced in size. So, was there a good reason for optimizing Barack Obama's birth certificate before posting it on the internet? Given the anticipated number of downloads, yes, a smaller file would be beneficial. Now for the big question. Can optimization explain the many anomalies in Barack Obama's birth certificate? In order to find out, we'll once again perform a little experiment. You'll recall that we took Barack Obama's birth certificate, removed the green background, then photocopied it onto green basket weave safety paper. Next, we scanned it into a computer. This time, we also optimized the document. We'll now begin a series of comparisons between the control document and the one released by the White House. Let's start with a look at layers. Optimization produced 45 layers in our control document, which is to be expected with a document of this complexity. The document released by the White House had only 9 layers. Now let's look at the green safety paper background. As we look at this sped up version of layers in our control document being turned on, you'll note that the green background layer is divided over many, many layers. This is to be expected as a result of the optimization process. The birth certificate released by the White House has 100% of the green background on the ninth and final layer. As you have seen by looking at the control document, this is not an expected result of optimization and implies strongly that the green background layer was created on a computer and inserted behind the other layers as the last step in the computerized document creation process. And now we'll look at the registrar's stamp and the date stamp. The date and the registrar's stamp are contained in part on layer 1. I'll lift layer 1 off of the document so you can see. There you go. Part of the date stamp, part of the registrar stamp. Now the date stamp is also contained in part on layer 7 and on layer 27. The registrar stamp, in addition to being contained on layer 1, is also contained on layer 6. Note that both stamps took some of the green background with them. Suffice it to say that the date stamp and the registrar stamp in a document that has been optimized cannot be moved around the document in one piece at will. Now let's look at the certificate of live birth released by the White House. As you can see, both the date stamp and the registrar stamp can be moved anywhere you want in one piece. No green background going with it, lifted cleanly off the document. As we know from our previous example, this is not caused by optimization. Now let's look at the white halo issue. As we look at our control document, we can see that there is no white halo effect caused by optimization. Even as we zoom in and look closely between the letters, we can see that the white halo effect does not exist and therefore cannot be blamed on optimization. As we zoom in on the document released by the White House, we can see the white halo effect throughout the document. And while we do not know what caused this white halo effect, we can state with confidence that it was not caused by optimization. There are numerous ways a white halo effect can be manufactured within Adobe Photoshop. The exact way that this particular effect was manufactured is not important. All that is important is to note that when you scan a document into a computer and optimize it, a white halo effect is not produced. In conclusion, we can state that while optimization can result in a layered document, the layers found in Barack Obama's long-form birth certificate are very dissimilar to what we'd expect as a result of the optimization process. In short, Optimization doesn't explain a single anomaly in Barack Obama's long-form birth certificate. 
Not a single one.